Hi, my name is Janice. I teach science here in Clearwater, Florida, and I'm here to talk to you today about how you calculate mole ratios for substances like copper and silver. Well, mole ratios are something that are drawn from a balanced chemical equation. So when we're finding mole ratios, we're going to be getting it from an equation that is balanced. So an equation that contains copper and silver might look something like this. You might have a substance of copper that's combining with silver nitrate, silver and nitrate. And it's actually one copper is going to combine with two molecules of the silver nitrate. And that's going to yield something that looks like this. Now you'll notice that there are some large whole numbers in front of the, um, the substances that are up here. There's a 2 in front of the silver nitrate, a 2 in front of the silver. But you'll notice that there's nothing over here. So when it's blank, we assume that, that a 1 lives there. So the mole ratio actually comes from these numbers, which we call coefficients. So if I wanted to get the ratio of copper to silver, I would look at the numbers that are in front of it. So the mole ratio for copper to silver would be 2 to 1. Whatever the large numbers are that are in front of the substances, that's what your mole ratio is going to be. And that is how you find the mole ratio from a balanced chemical equation. I'm Janice, and I'll see you next time.